Y'all listen here. I don't, I don't have time to watch TV, and so I've been catching up on the Real Housewives of the Potomac. Do y'all watch the Real Housewives of the Potomac? See, I watch them. I watch Orange County. Ain't that the one with Vicky, Vicky, Vicky on there? I don't know which one. Which one that got Vicky on there, y'all? Anyway, I I've been in a couple of groups that's done talked about it. People that asked my opinion about it, so I'm gonna tell y'all my whole little piece of opinion about this whole situation with Monique and Candace, as well as my opinion about the rest of these ladies on this little show. So let's go on and talk. About the first thing we're going to get into is the situation with Candace, the whole fight situation. We already know, and it's been pointed out, Candace been running around this show, jumping on people, hooping in the hollering, and carrying on and acting a fool. That's what she been doing. And I done summed the situation up to this. And I'm going to tell y'all, and I'm going to tell you my opinion about this show. It's what has been edited and shown to us the same thing you done watched on TV, just like I watched. This is where my opinions come from, because some of y'all get sensitive about the, these shows, like y'all know these people for real, and y'all get mad about folks' opinion. It's just my opinion. It's not the law. It's just how I feel. And I done had people get mad and literally hate me about my opinion about a show. Y'all, you don't have to hate me. It's just my opinion. I mean, it, they don't, they ain't paying our bills. They don't like us. And they don't know us. Anyhow, Candace been hooping and hollering. Candace is a spoiled little rich girl. She's been doing whatever she want to do. She's been running up on people and doing whatever. And like it's already been saying, there has never been no consequences for her actions. She done got away with it, been getting away with it. And then she ran into Monique. Monique just didn't let Candace bully her and run over her and do all the stuff that she's accustomed to doing. So Candace did not know how to handle that. They over there at that little born at Giselle little get together, celebrate her little piece of accomplishment. First of all, how did she even win over Eric Jerome Dickey? That's one of my favorite um, authors. And he was up against her in her book. I would have picked him over her anyway. And a couple of other good um, authors I done heard of and how she won over him. I guess they was just, maybe they said he done won too many awards. We just need to give it to a new a new author or something because I ain't read a book and I ain't going to lie, I ain't really been interested in reading it. If somebody handed it to me, I'll read it because I like to read, but I'm not going to go spend my money on it. But anyway, moving right along. And, and, and that's odd for me to say because I support just about anything. And I'll read anything, but I ain't buying nothing to hugs and I'll get to that later. Anyway... So she kept running up on Monique. Y'all, y'all, if you watched the episode, Monique was over there looking at her halfway, but she wasn't saying nothing. And then Candace gonna go over there and jump back because she had Giselle over there to the side. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all. All of that Candace was doing, I felt like it was orchestrated. I felt like her and Giselle had already been together and Robin, and they already knew it was gonna pop off. And I think that... Candace was waiting for her cue from Giselle, and that's what they did. I feel like this whole entire situation had been nothing but a whole plan to get Monique off that show. You cannot tell me that the entire situation wasn't staged and wasn't put together to get Monique off that show by Giselle. Giselle set that whole thing up and put it in motion, just like it's going to come out on social media that Candace done let it slip that Giselle did have a part in it and they was wanting her you know basically wanting the situation we already knew that it was obvious they because she kept looking at her like okay it's time like if you go back and look at it she keep looking at her like giving her the eye like okay it's time what you waiting on okay go and because they already know Monique is high-headed they know how she is because Candace is high-headed and they knew what to do to push can um they knew what to do to push Monique buttons. And so Monique over there minding her own business. So Candace didn't even have to run up in her face and start talking about the podcast. You already know you did her wrong when you when you left her hanging on the podcast. You done said it. You left her hanging on the podcast. 
but yet you always going on about how you such a good person and she's supposed to be your good Judy and good friend and you just such an awesome person. But if you such an awesome person, then why you going to leave her hanging on the podcast? And let's go on and get into the fact why y'all into it in the first place. Y'all was into it because you jumped up and ran and befriended a lady that you knew was spreading malicious lies about Monique, her husband, and her kids, you went and befriended her, didn't act like you didn't know that Monique and the lady had a beef, and you lied about it. You lied, because it was in the other episodes, you already knew. So that's why she didn't, she wasn't feeling you no more. That's how the beef started between Candace and Monique in the first place, why Candace was acting like she didn't know. And so that's something I don't like about Candace, and I don't like people like that. I don't like people that do stuff to other people and then act like they don't know. That is Candace. Candace is one of those those people that don't ever want to, to um be accountable for the things she do. She want to sit around and be the victim and blame everybody else for things that has happened, but she don't ever want to take account accountability for it. That's why her and her mama don't be getting along because she wanted to be her mama fault while she don't have what she want. But let's keep in mind, she only acting how she was raised. She only behaving how she been allowed to behave. That's what she doing. Apparently, that's all she know to do. That's what they, they done caught up the girl and let her get away with it, and she don't know how to behave. On the streets and in real life, how Candace was acting, when you run up on people, you get dealt with. She got dealt with, and that's it, and that's all. That's how it happens. I don't condone violence, but who you know that let people keep getting bullied? I've been bullied, and now at my age, I don't care how old I am. If you run up on me now, guess what's going to happen? Camera or no camera. <laughs> you gonna get it and like i said i don't come to condone violence but you run it up in somebody's face and you put people putting fingers all up in people's face but monique was saying she thought that um candace threw the drink okay candace didn't throw the drink it was from um the table shaking from the going back and forth but the thing is candace should have never been in her face then there wouldn't have been a misunderstanding about a drink being pushed or accidentally thrown anyway but the fact that all the other ladies are gonna sit there other than karen and act like and turn a blind eye to the fact that candace didn't start that with the exception that it don't matter the situation of what happened, you just don't re react like that lies you tell. Because when y'all was into it with Candace, some of y'all was wanting to get physical to Giselle being one of them. So, <laughs> bye. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. And then, let's keep in mind, Giselle hasn't liked Monique since day one when she busted that little rap over when <laughs> when it was at her house. I think it was at her house on that on the the first show she was on. And then I don't know what it is about Monique that intimidates Giselle, but it's something because she didn't had her out for it since the, the first time she appeared there. So there it is. I said it. It was a setup. Monique fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. And that's it. And that's all. So then now here they are. It's still going on about this fight. And then they, everybody trying to force Karen to take sides with everybody else. We already know Robin gonna do what Giselle tell her to do. She's a follower. She's always been a follower and she'll continue to be a follower. Every now and then she'll take, follow one of the other ladies and not side with Giselle but that's only because it hadn't been discussed first and Giselle ain't told her what to do. Other than that, she's a follower. The Wendy situation. I don't like her because I don't like her attitude. Just like on these last couple of shows, she, she thinks because she has an education that she knows everything. You only are educated in what your degrees are in. I don't care if you have four degrees, two degrees, one degree, or ten degrees. You only educated in what you went to school for. It don't make you high and mighty over all things. You can have ten doctors, but if they, if it's not you only educated in what you go to school for. Okay, I have a couple of associate degrees and I can do some things with web, uh, website designs and computers. But if her doctorate is not in website designing or editing like mine is, then that, that makes me more intelligent in the situation than her because she got that doctorate. Don't mean she can educate me on editing a video 
or designing a website if that's not where her education is. And people with doctors and master's degrees tends to get that kind of twisted in their head. They think because they have it that they're, they're educated in all things. No, boo-boo, you're only educated in what you went to school for. You're only educated in what that degree say. That's just like saying a dentist can, can give me a hysterectomy. No, he only educated in dentistry. He ain't educated in to give me a hysterectomy, an amputate nothing. No, that ain't how it works. And so some of these people, especially black people, there I said it, could be some white people. I don't know because I don't know any like that to say that. But I'm saying about some of the black people that I know from around this way, that's how they behave. It is what it is. So Wendy, I'm glad Karen took her down a few pegs and got her together. And then she act like she don't, she ain't used to nobody talking to her like that. Oh, well, she said the truth and the truth will set you, set you free. It, what? And that's it, and that's all. And like Karen said, you don't have to have a, de a degree to succeed because common sense will help you. You can have all the book knowledge in the world, but if you don't know what to do with it, it's null and void. And if you don't have the common sense to survive in the streets, it's null and void. So you can have all the doctors you want in the world if you still ignorant to the fact of some things in life, it's null and void. Then that's it and that's all. I done seen a lot of people around here that's smart. I mean smart in the books. But take them out of that environment and come and send stuff and simple things. That's it. You hear crickets. So I'm not even here for it and I'm not trying to hear it. All of it is still trying to turn. And then the situation with Candace trying to force Karen... Not to talk to Monique, to me, is just childish. How are you trying to force somebody not to talk to somebody? That's like these YouTube creators out here talking about, well, you can't be my moderator and you can't be my friend because you friends with somebody I don't like. But in, in the same, but they in their lives and in their video talking about, I, you can go to whoever live you want to go to. You can watch whoever you want to. It don't bother me. But then they'll say, well, she can't be my moderator. I can't trust her because she friends with so so. But you can't really talk to me because you feel childish that's childish and that's exactly what candace is trying to do to karen but karen got her together real quick and i'm glad she did and she needed to tell her and just like karen said when you was out here doing like monique and making the moan wrong moves what did i tell you whose side did i pick okay that and that's it i don't understand these they crazy they're going around trying to force people to just gang up on each other. And I am happy that Ashley did try to stand up for, Mon for, for Monique. And I do not think Ashley should invite Monique on this little trip to Portugal because it's going to be uncomfortable for, for everybody on the trip. And I'm more concerned about Monique. Monique shouldn't even want to go on the trip. She should be happy. Ashley didn't invite her, but I, I don't know how she's going to feel about it later, but she shouldn't want to go. And that's it and that's all. <clears throat> and Monique, they got mad, mad at Monique because in that moment, Monique told the truth. She didn't feel any remorse. Why should she feel remorse? I don't feel like Monique should have felt any remorse. Remorse for what? Defending herself. Somebody was in her personal space. I, 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 and somebody keep telling you to hit them. What you going to do? You going to pop them in. Candace kept egging it on. She kept pushing forward. And she got what she asked for. I am glad that when she went to therapy and she wasn't ready for this, the therapist pointed out, oh, what did you do to encourage the situation? And she was like... Well, I did get in her face, but she never did. She wasn't wanting to tell the whole truth. But this is my thing. I want to know what that therapist thought after he actually seen the episode and after he actually seen the show and actually seen how Candace behaved and how she was running all up and Monique face and how she provoked the entire situation. Because I'm hoping today, after the fact, after he's seen it, I hope she still go to therapy and I hope he get in her behind about what she did and what she did wrong. Because she has to be held accountable for what she did. Because if not, she, I mean, she's not. And, and do I think Monique is really seriously remorseful? I think she is now. 
But when it happened in that moment, I agree with her. She wasn't. Why would she be? I mean, it was still a lot of stuff going on. Even after they were separated, Monique shut up. It was Candace that was still pop, pop, popping off. They didn't make Candace shut up. Where was Giselle old flicked itself at? She was running around there with her. Still popping off at the face. Wasn't saying nothing. Oh, Candace, poor Candace. But she was still egging it on, and she kept on talking, kept on saying mean stuff. And then when Monique ran out the back, ready to bop in the head again, because she kept on calling for her, and she came, then everybody was hollering that she was in the wrong yet again. Uh. But yes, she, uh, Candace wasn't held accountable. Let's talk about Giselle. Giselle over there at the fight, after the fight, when they all met together at Karen House, gonna have the audacity to fix her, her face and say, I even talked to my girls about it. Why you going to talk to your girls about grown folk business? Your girls don't even like the fact you back with their daddy. And they don't even, done told you they don't like that. You can't listen to them tell you they don't really care, you know, uncomfortable with the fact you back with their daddy because he a cheater. But yet you going to listen to, uh, to them now. You can't listen to them about that, but you can listen to, to, to them about this situation. Girl, bye. You just sit up here trying to make it look bad for TV because you're doing, you're trying to do what you can to get her off that show. And I have lost so much respect for Giselle. When this show first started coming on, Giselle and Robin, Robin was two of my most favorite people on this show. Giselle done fell to the bottom of the totem pole. I, at this point, you can take her off the show and I wouldn't miss her. That's how bad it's the guy for me with her behavior and the situation with her husband. And you can tell something ain't right with her and her husband. You can tell he's still creeping. Something ain't right. I don't know. I ain't going to say that, man. I don't like to put it out there to exist that he creeping. But y'all done heard the rumors that a baby here, there, somewhere, everywhere. It's something about him that I don't even see right. And they relationship so weird. And then when they together, it's like he really ain't even into her like that. It's like it's a, an arrangement and not a relationship. It's just really awkward. And I'm just like, them two ain't together for real. It's so awkward. It, they don't even act like people that's in a re regular relationship. It's just something ain't right about it. it you, you can tell about people, chemistry, and how they are together. And theirs is non-existent. There I said it. Allegedly. Then Robin, I'm glad Robin little hat business is taking off and popping and everything, but how she was going on with caring about her taxes, here she is, didn't fully pay all her taxes, but yet she going to tell Karen, well, how you don't know? Hey, well, I guess now you know. That's one thing I'm scared of is the IRS, honey. I don't want the government in my pocket trying to take here, there, this, that, and everything. Uh-uh, I'm scared of them, honey. Let me get them. I pay them over. I pay them too much before I not pay them enough because, honey, they seize everything down to your drawers, huh? Mm -mm. But I need Robin to be more independent. I need Robin to stop being a follower. I need Robin to stop needing uh, Giselle to lead her and okay what it is for her to, to like or whatever. And the thing is, I don't feel like Robin knows she do it. I feel like it's a Cynthia situation like on the Real Housewives of Atlanta when Cynthia don't know she doing it. I feel like Robin don't know she doing it. I don't. I really don't. I, don't, I just... It's just how she is. She just, she kind of just flicked it like that. She, the girl just look, I should be calling her a girl. We all probably the same age, but the lady just a little dinky. But anyway, back to Wendy. I don't like her. I don't like nothing about her. I don't watch her on her show over there on M. What is it on? M S C -N C B S N M S M B S whatever it is. MSNBC is that it? Who cares? See, don't nobody even care. I I remember seeing her on that show a time or two, but it wasn't nothing going on intriguing enough for me to watch it. I was just like, click click. What what so? Anyway, Ashley. Like I said before, I'm glad she stood up for 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 Monique because. See, Ashley already had an issue with Candace, and she know how it is to deal with Candace. And I'm glad she kind of speaks up. I'm glad she, the person that ain't scared to say, y'all, you know, I don't agree. Because, you know, some people, they like robbing. They scared not to say nothing. And they scared not to go with the crowd. But anyway, her and this Michael situation. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Do I see them being together for the long haul? No, I don't see Michael being 
unfaithful. Michael got issues. Michael ain't never been held accountable. It's like he ain't never been in, I don't know, the man ain't, ain't never been in nothing serious. I'm wondering how he was even raised at this point. Because he, you, you are how, most people are how they raised. And Michael apparently either watched his parents have the same behavior or something like that because of how, how, how he behaved. And Ashley, honey, I hope she had been she been being smart and been stacking her money to the side somewhere and her little allowances up because I don't know how her prenup wired or worked or what, but I, I don't know if adultery is in there, or how she can get around it, but she best figure it out because she need to gonna have her little plan ready or whatever. This situation with Carrie. I love how Karen handled the situation about the fight. She handled the situation like she handled everybody else's when she don't peak size. And what I like about Karen, she tell it how it is. She she call out everybody that's wrong in the situation. She just don't be, you know, do it like everybody else. Her and jump on a bandwagon, peak size, and then just, you know. And now I like how she get people together. But on this show tonight, I feel some kind of way. Wendy. And Giselle, the crap starter, Giselle, especially, she always going to go back and tell something to keep something going. Especially like Robin said, it ain't a Robin event without Giselle starting something. G Robin, you got sense enough to see G Giselle starting something at your house now, and but you don't have sense enough to speak up no other time. You let her pull you in and push you under a bus and have you caught up in stuff that ain't your fault. But that's what you be doing. And they ain't going to tell nobody else. Anyway... So here y'all go over here, and I'm glad Karen came in there and told Wendy to her face. It is what it is, and it was what it was, and that's it, and that's all about that situation. And stop trying to get Karen together. And Wendy Rue, you know, she was attacking Ashley about that baby because Monique told her she could bring the baby. Well, it wasn't Monique fault that Ashley asked, well, can I bring the baby? Well, she asked because she bring it. She a first-time mama, and she got a newborn. And then that damn Wendy going to say, well, I was a first-time. They's like, you ain't no first-time mommy, girl. You got three kids. Ashley a, has a newborn. She's a first-time mother. She said, me too. No, baby, you got three kids. You're not a first-time mother. This is the first time she ever had a kid, period. Honey, don't try to pull it. And she told me, well, I had to leave my baby. If you was that bent over leaving that baby, he'll stay at home. You should have stayed at the house. Ashley's a new mom, a young mom, a first-time ever mom. She don't even have know how to get a routine together yet. But she done got it together now because she about to carry y'all stupid folks over there to Portugal to act the food. Go down there and be in the Portuguese jailhouse. So anyway... But Karen, back to Karen. I love to see. I love seeing the episode with Karen went to her little hometown. It was it was adorable because to them, you know, she famous and that's how it is in small areas. But you see how Giselle had to steal the show. She hopped up in that um parade and you can see how uncomfortable Ashley was because Ashley was just like, okay. But, you know, it was like she really didn't want to do that. But Giselle was trying to really take that moment from Karen. And I didn't like that. And somebody else should have pointed it out. I will. There you go. There it went. Giselle, you try to take that little moment from Karen. You didn't have to be in the parade. You could have walked on down the sideline and met her down over there at the car where you were supposed to be meeting her. You didn't have to be in the parade behind her car, wherever, trying to be. Girl. Karen and Ray. The money situation is what got Ray feeling some kind of way with Karen. I don't know if it hurt his little feelings or his manhood that Karen had to bail him out of his situation, but that's what couples do. That's what the other one is for. But it may, it, Karen, I feel like he's used to the man taking care of her. And when Ray couldn't, I believe it made her feel some kind of way. But Ray has provided her a lifestyle and helped her be the way she is. So he can't complain now. He made Karen the way she is. And he talking about the money kind of went to her head. Well, you, you put on that pedestal. You made her that way. And then when you didn't have the money, you kind of feeling some kind of way. Because now she got the money and you don't. And you not liking that. Because now that she was on the other foot, it don't work like that in the relationship. And you just have to work through it. You will get back up there some kind of way. But you should be not retired and sit down anyway. But you will get back there. Don't be mad at it. Don't try to holler that 
y'all um like you don't love her you're not still in love with her i mean work it out don't try to be ready to bail now anyway i tried to sum this up real quick because this is uh, the whole season of real um uh, housewives of potomac up until now all the episodes are in a nutshell so let me know what y'all are watching because I've been catching up on TV. If y'all seen my last video, y'all know for 36 months I ain't been doing watching a lot of TV, doing much of nothing because I was sitting about my dad. But I, I, I've been getting to watch TV. I got to come and let y'all know what else I know I'm watching. Feel y'all in. Woo, child. All these new a place where i'm free to be me vlogs